born Guyanese, came to the borough of the Bronx in the United States at the age of seven and been here ever since. Uh, proud of my culture, my heritage, and even my ancestors from India. So we know through migration, they scattered throughout the Caribbean islands, Indo-Caribbean, the West Indies. Um, but being born in Guyana and coming to the Bronx, I am the daughter of the late Pandit Vishnu Sukal. He unfortunately passed away two years ago, and he is the first Guyanese Hindu priest to have a Bronx street co-named after his honor. And we have our Hindu temple, the Vishnu Mandir Hindu temple for over 25 years in the borough of the Bronx, we're a staple. From there, I've started the Bharati Foundation, the Bharati Dance Academy, teaching culture, dance, health and fitness to our community, our diverse community, but also connecting resources back into our community. I left the Bronx and came to Queens for this celebration of Little Guyana Avenue because it's so important. It's a sense of pride. It's a sense of humility because we're so humbled to know that New York is recognizing our growing population, our Guyanese population. And while we have celebrated with a diverse community, we are proud Guyanese. Everyone was Guyanese for the day and the morning. Um, more importantly, this is about being inclusive. We live in a melting pot we call New York City. Our families have left places to make this their home where they put their heads down to sleep. And I think by showing this diversity in our city that it exists, that it's here and it's here to stay, this is one way of saying that the people is here. We recognize them not only as a growing population, but as immigrants who are making this place home, who are hard working from breaking a box to working in an office to being in a seat when it comes to the elected officials. You know, the small business owners were represented here in numbers and this just show you that we are all proud to call this place home, to call this place community, and to be that one people, one nation, making this place a better um, you know, not just for us, not making it a better place, better than we got it for ourselves, but also for those that come after us. And we do that remembering all those that came before us. So it's such an honor. It's such an honor to have you coming all the way from Maryland. Shout out to our Guyanese people yes, all over. Yes, we are yes, proud. Yes, we are amazing people. There's yes, so much richness, like our spices. Yes. Um, there's color in everything, right? So we absolutely love our culture, Thank our community, you. our flag. The arrowhead is, you know, you know, the arrowhead <laughs> is shining bright. And what else, how else can we show the diverse community that our Guyanese people are represented in number? We have artists like international dancer Zaman, you know, Sundarvi, the Indian goddess, who has been doing amazing work, who is here, that we bonded through community after my father passing, adopted him as a god brother. I gotta See his work all around this. New York City as well as around the world, and this is what community is about. This is what Guyanese people are about. We don't just stick to our day jobs. We have so many things more <laughs> that we have our hands in. And I'm just humbled and proud to come from the borough of the Bronx to be in Queens with everyone, knowing that our people is being recognized, our country is being recognized. And we are here to stay and grow. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you care. so much for talking Yo. to Guy and Tavis. Awesome, awesome, awesome.